Welcome to What's Cooking with Paula Dean. Spend a little time with Paula as she talks to her fans, makes some great dishes, helps with cooking problems, and she even gives some useful tips on how to make cooking easier and a whole lot more fun. Join us each week for What's Cooking with Paula Dean. If you have any questions or would like to talk to Paula, please send an email to podcast at pauladean.com. Now, let's join Paula and see what's cooking today. Hey, y'all. Welcome to What's Cooking with Paula Dean today. Uh, it's, it's a day that I'm going to take some questions and answers. Okay. Um, my name is Ashton Wood, and I'm from Illinois, Metamora, Illinois, and I just wanted to um, ask you if ask you what your son's favorite dish is, and who's your favorite son? <laughs> Ashton, I don't have a favorite son. Some I like more than I do others at certain times, but I don't have a favorite one. I love all my children equally. Um, just like I bet your mother loves you and all your siblings equally. I can tell you that Jamie Dean loves a fried pork chop and Bobby Dean loves, loves, loves mama's goulash. So... Yeah, Phil just told me I can show you how to make it because we got it on film. Okay, Bobby, it's oh, yeah. finally ready, son. Well, everybody's hungry. And you notice I had some, uh, wait, now I'm going to mess this up. Oh, Parmesan Oreg um, <laughs> Parmesan Romano mixed cheese. Is that the kind you have? <laughs> yes, fresh grated. How is it? Is it good? You're the goulash expert. It's good. So you tell me. Oh, and it's mm. so good. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. When I tell you that I want goulash, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> mm. Well, I'm so glad I did it for you. What you do you, what? do you like more meat or more noodles? I like them both so much, but given the option, I would say extra meat. I like extra noodles. Do you? Mm-hmm. Well, everybody's different. You know what yeah. I really like? I like what? that it's just you and me and nobody else is here to share. Isn't that, isn't that the truth? We don't have many of these quiet meals, do we? Mm -mm. Did you put the butter in it? No, I didn't. You'd be liar, very... liar. I did not. I did not liar. put, nope, not one speck of butter. I promise. It's cause I forgot. <laughs> did you really? Yeah, I meant to. Well, you know what? I meant to put a couple of tablespoons in. Turns out it doesn't need it. Uh, mm -mm, mm. And you probably, you probably could have put anything you wanted to in this goulash and I wouldn't have cared because the only thing that matters is that I was here eating it with you. Yes. I feel like you and I both had a great time being together. Always. And there's nothing better than that for any mother or father. I just hope that y'all enjoyed it as much as we did. Mm -hmm. Because it makes Bobby and me so very happy to know that you're on the other end. And we send y'all all kind of love. We hope you have a blessed day. And we hope that you'll be back the next time we be back. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. And I hope the next time I come over here and ask you for butter, I get some butter. I ain't gonna... <laughs> I'll put some butter in. Mm. I finally got it together. I think Jamie's only complaint is Mama's not fast enough. But look a here, y'all. Look a here. Look over there. In those pots. Ooh, do you smell that ham hock sun? Mm-hmm. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Hate to rush you, but. Great time of day. Look at that. Oh, yes. And you know what? I love taking these leftover. Mm-hmm. And uh, got to make sure I get you some butter. It's been a leftover. Just, it has been a long time since you've had Bobby and I living in your house. I know, I know. Didn't we don't you do leftovers, leftovers in my house. I got two Where's boys. Where's your gravy? I, I don't care for any gravy, Mom. I told I you. I thought you wanted it on your mashed no, potatoes. No, ma'am. I want butter beans on my okay. potatoes, Okay. Okay. Do you want ham? Mm, I don't care. Just 
get to uh -oh, the goods. Don't, I don't want to choke you to death with that little bone. Uh, mm. Just you can do it. Anything you want. Okay, show me your pork chop. You want? Just do you want one. a tenderloin, or do you want? I'll take one each. Thank you. Okay. Well, why don't we start with that one right there for you? Let's see. I'm and get you some, some onions and some tomatoes. Onion on top of that. And um, yeah, tomato. Look at that beautiful let me plate give you right there. a little there. white bread. Oh, this is perfect. You want some chopped onion? Beer yes, beans. you know it. For my butter beans. And I'm like you. I kind of like my butter beans. This is the way I'm going to do mine. I'm going to do butter beans on half, and then I'm going to do gravy on half. Yeah, I think I might do an open faced pork chop sandwich for gravy. Yeah. Yeah. I just love it. Uh, Y'all, when I get to spend quality time with my boys. We're so busy, I don't ever get to see you. I know it. And it seems like it, if it's the three of us, like I said, I just love my one on one time uh, with all of my children. And this is just great. Isn't that tomato beautiful? Mm -hmm. And is this my chopped onion? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, thank you. All right, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I got him. See, I think I'm. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I knew I I knew you wanted some. A little bit right there. Yes. Bon appetit, son. Mm. I love you, mama. I love you, I'm too, proud son. of you. And I'm proud of you. Thanks for having I'm me. I'm so blessed. Mm. Look, we got, oh, golly, Moses. I just bit in that little bit of fat right there. Mm-hmm. Ain't good, ain't it? It's nothing like pig fat, I'm telling you. <laughs> That's my mm. number one meal. You know. Fried pork chow. Jamie, I don't want to fry pork fried. chows in my house because no, this is a flavor that I only get from my mama. Mm -hmm. In a hundred years when you go to heaven, I'm going to cry thinking about the flavor of that pork chop. Oh, son. And there's nothing that a mother loves more than feeding her children something that it's like nobody else can give them except you. This is awesome. That gift, that gift of that wonderful food. Gosh, I'm trying to swallow everything at once. That pork chop, see beating that a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just kind of tenderized it on up. Oh my gosh, I wish, I wish you were here to to taste this and enjoy it with us. And hopefully, maybe one day, we'll all show up at the restaurant at the same time. Maybe one of the restaurants. So thank you, son. For thank you, Mama. Spending a little time with me one on one. Thankful this for you and this food. Mm. Well, Jamie and I both, my whole family, we always send you love and best dishes, y'all. Until next time. <laughs> this is delicious, Mom. I know. Mmm. That's so good. This is my favorite meat. My hair. It, I like it more than even fried chicken, I think. And those butter beans mixed in with the mashed potatoes. Oh, that is nice. mm. The space that you live in really affects the way you feel. So my first recommendation is start by updating your window treatments with Smith & Noble. Smith & Noble's beautiful handcrafted blinds, drapes, shades, and shutters are custom made just for you, and they offer different service options to fit your needs. To get started today, contact Smith & Noble to get my special limited time offer, 25% off on your window treatments, plus free design consultation. Create a space that you're gonna love. For details about my special offer, go to smithandnoble.com slash Paula. That's smithandnoble.com slash Paula. Or call 1-800-659-3300. That's 1-800-659-3300. All right, hi Paula, this is Nicole from Metamora, Illinois. That was my son Ashton that uh, was just asking you some questions. Um, 
I'm so excited to meet you today. When my children were babies and I was on maternity leave, you are what I watched and you taught me how to cook and I thank you for that. Um, and as a single mom, I want to ask you, you know, where you drew your inspiration and your drive um, every day. Oh my gosh. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of girls that have been in the same boat I've ridden in. And that's being a single mother and having the responsibility of raising your children. Uh, my brother and I were orphaned at a pretty young age. Our, our parents died uh, very young. It was just a, a fluke that both our mother and our father died young of different diseases. But, um, you know, I, my children were my drive. I didn't want my children to, to end up like me. I, I wanted, I wanted to give them wings so they could fly in the world. And, uh, I certainly didn't want to leave them at, at their, at their young ages. So it was really about my children. It was, um, I tell you what, I was 42 years old before I took full responsibility for myself. I came from the generation where your daddy took care of you or your husband took care of you and you stayed home and you cooked and you did the dishes and painted the house and waxed the floors and uh, all that sort of stuff. But it's a totally different world now. And like I said, I was 42 before I realized that I had to take responsibility for myself, that nobody was going to come along and take care of me. So with my children's life laying there before them, I had to fight for them. So that's what I did. And I know you'll do the same thing. Thanks for the question. I'll see y'all next time. Love and best dishes to all of you. Join us each week for What's Cooking with Paula Dean. Spend a little time with Paula as she talks to her fans, makes some great dishes, helps with cooking problems, and she even gives some useful tips on how to make cooking easier and a whole lot more fun. If you have any questions or would like to talk to Paula, please send an email to podcast at pauladean.com. Join Paula and see what's cooking today.